in Artist Madhouse, um, we use arts for wellness. The process we use is rooted from our experiences as artists and also as advocates of Child Life Program in Kite Foundation. In that experience, we saw how art alleviates the pain, brings healing to the patient. So from those experiences, we have formed this process as artists. It's our tool and it's our way of life and we wanted to share it to the world. That's why we put up this business. We called Artist Madhouse. Art Psych Circle is a group of psychologists and psychologists in training. We use different forms of arts. So we have visual arts, we have um, movement, drama, and music. So we use it as a form of intervention to any group. So we've worked with children of, with abuse, uh, children with autism, children in conflict with the law. We also worked in disasters. So in the Typhoon Haiyan and also the earthquake. Now, from time to time, there will be requests or uh, we get invited in different colleges, so if there's a certain concern, then we can we can try to meet their need. Ito ay isang gawain para sa mga kabataan, lalo na sa mga individual na nangangailangan ng art therapy para maibisan ang kanilang uh, mga nararamdaman, katulad po ng mga mayroong cancer, batang with autism, obsessive compulsive behavior for those with depression. Ito po ang layunin ng silab, art reach. Expressive arts kasi is um, not focused on the product, the outcome, the output, but it's more focused on the process. This is really for anyone who just wants to find out if they are well and if there's anything going on in their life right now. Art really made me feel um, wonderful no? and it is also my outlet. It doesn't matter if it's good or bad, as long as you express your feelings. It was a very nice change of pace for me. Actually, I look forward to it every week. It's a break, parang it's a breather. Weekends for me, yeah, I just leave it off. But with this experience, parang I really relish waking up early para lang mag-attend ng class. These kinds of arts is a way for them to tell their story without having to ask them exactly what that story is. So with this kind of tool or with this kind of symbol or metaphor, they are able to see the artwork and see their problem outside themselves. With dance, they are able to let go and see their story based on their movements. For the most part, I use music as a form of therapy because um, it's easy for me to relate to lyrics, sort of, because I really take lyrics to heart. Yeah, I'm a public school teacher, as you know. So to prevent from getting really stressed, I engage to this kind of activity. I feel that this is a very safe way to express my uh, feelings. Ang goal lang po ng Sila Bartridge ay ikonekta ang sining sa bawat isang buhay na nangangailangan ng panahon, ng kalinga. Yung focus din ng workshop namin is ko ano yung kaya namin i-offer as a person, no? not, not really as a facilitator. Ang facilitation style namin is being a friend and really being there, doing, doing the activity with the participant. It is an experience for us that we learn to explore what this really is. At the same time, we also get affected and moved by what they bring to us. The program is for anyone who has the need for it. I think therapy is relevant to any age. I mean, ranging from little kids who just want to have fun or adults who are stressing, um, uh, college students, even if you're not artistically inclined. It's for everybody, absolutely for everybody. Even the ones who cannot draw well. Because after five days of corporate work, this is different. Parang it's something na hindi mo intindihan kung ano sinasabi ng boss mo or kung ano yung team ko, kung anong kulang nila. Parang it's something for me lang. If, if you need to take care of yourself, you need to uh, come home to your inner self and just uh, distress or have this meaningful conversation with yourself and connect with like-minded people, then you can join us and experience this for yourself na makapagpahinga ka man lang, no? kahit sandali. Uh, Gagabayan ko po kayo. Uh, titingnan po natin kung ito po ay para sa inyo.